Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Night Noon for Film and Games. This is your host Batman. So, today we're gonna play Cyberpunk again. This is 1.63, I think. So, this is not the Phantom. Still, I don't reach the Phantom yet. I'm gonna take my time in the Cyberpunk. After a uh, Nevada um, update, uh, the graphic card and other updates and also the update of the B this VC things going smoothly the graphic become much better I know there is a mood uh, you can high up the graphic and there is a mood you can get a lot of cars but um, unfortunately I don't want to do that in that time So basically I'm gonna talk about the graphic. It's look so good. You can just see the details, it's much better. Okay, so let's start the mission here. And I'll talk to you in the end of the mission, okay? See you later. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back, is that it? Uh-huh, that's exactly why Got I Got no had... fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No, this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? 
No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job. Okay, sir. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. He's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Those sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie, I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol will be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Why does this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I 
How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up. Nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. B, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. How did you weasel your way in there? Here I opened the damned door. Be right there. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Sure thing. Nada. Nothing here. Not here. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Here goes nothing. Little 
situation that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, Jim. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do, but I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's in peace. Hurry up and wait, man. spooked as if you're the first person ever to stand up to song ah, save your breath I don't need to be consoled ah, was it someone I know do scorpion you came home from the war head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts he tried to get Saul to lead us in joining snake nation it would make us stronger he said I don't think he beat the word of it to me what did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself, you didn't need any. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. I'm oh, kind of cold out here. Hmm. 
not true. But this is nice. Catch some Jedi with me. I'll just lie here a while, fireside, gazing at the stars. Not another area of your expertise. You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
was tired, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better go. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pen out! So it begins. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pen am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. B, I am sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. You wait. Take care.
Okay guys, so we finished the mission and we back to the city. There is another mission not far away from here. Still I have only the bike and the one car. Where's my bike? Why is stone over there? <laughs> Ooh, see the graphic sometimes uh, going bad. Okay, I will see you soon. So, ride along. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is this? Oh boy, I think I'm gonna be attacking. Why they attack me? Oh boy, I'm dead. 